Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. And to get into tomorrow's co-main event on the Pro Box uh, series, really entertaining fight between Jonathan Cardoso and Adam Lopez. This is going to be a fun fight, and this is really hard to pick. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. Uh, there's always a bull market somewhere. Let's bring down the house together. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get the lock of the week. Get the lock of the week. Uh, it's just $5, five dollars a month. It gets you all the perks. Join the Patreon. The lock of the week is going to make you money every single week. It's a lock. We make money all the time. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. It is really late. It's already 1.37 my time here as we record. I'm going to go through this kind of quickly. Cardoso. Really interesting fighter. He's uh, 16-1, 15 knockouts. He's a puncher. He took a knockout loss in the first round back in 2022. Off television fight in Panama City, Panama. <clears throat> Don't know what happened. Can't find the tape. He's won two fights since then. A UD8 on Pro Box and a uh, TKO3 on Pro Box against two undefeated fighters. He looks like a good prospect. This is a really interesting fight, which he could win. He's got a nice jab, good good athlete, pretty athletic, excellent footwork, works his angles. He really sits down on his shots. He's a puncher. He commits to every shot. Pretty heavy-handed. Fluid athlete. There's a lot to like about him. 5'9", so he's fairly tall for the size. He's straight up and down. He's very accurate from the outside. He likes to be in the long range. That's where he wants to be. This is such an interesting contrast in styles. He gets tagged a lot, too. Both guys get hit a lot. Both guys get hit a lot. Both guys do a lot of hitting. Both guys throws in throwing combination. He throws in really he throws hard combination. Where as Lopez is well, we'll get into Lopez later. High, tight guard, shoots shots straight down the middle. <clears throat> throws his shots hard. Let's lets his hands fly. He's a good offensive fighter. With good feet and a good athlete, but he gets hit a lot because he's in front of you. He's there to be hit. Good volume. He's got a very good tempo, and he, and he changes the tempo up. Offensively, this guy is good. Defensively, I can, I can understand why he got knocked out in the first round. Like, I could see it. But I am changing my opinion on this fight while I'm going through my notes. This is a really 50-50 fight. This is such a 50-50 fight. Cardoso is an explosive fighter. Mixes up levels really well. He's a seek and destroy, come forward guy. Pinpoint accurate from the outside. Once you're the outside and mid-range, likes to be on the outside. He tags you with accuracy. Adam Lopez is a fun fighter. He's an interesting fighter. He moves a lot laterally. He moves in and out. He likes to come forward, decent mobility and flexibility, decent speed, decent athlete. Both guys are pretty good athletes, although they implement their athleticism very differently. Uh, he's, he's accurate. Adam Lopez is accurate and explosive with his lead hooks. I really like his lead hooks. He's light on his feet, he's a good volume fighter. He can win rounds on volume. The problem is he gets hit a lot. And he's not a puncher. He's going to get into exchanges with a bigger puncher. Now, he can outland him and outscore him. But does he just take one big shot that changes the fight? That certainly could happen because he gets caught a lot. 
He's got a susceptible chin. I don't know if the chin is weak or if it just gets hit way too much, but it, it's one of the other, if not both. Adam Lopez is not a big hitter. He's not a knockout guy. Like There's two possibilities I see in this fight. Cardosa by stoppage, Lopez on point. Lopez is relentless. Mixes up the head and body. He gets hit a lot. A good combination puncher. Good angles. Puts his shots together really well. He throws in different combinations. He gives you different looks. He keeps you guessing. He's not a he's a, he is a very hard guy to kind of time and, and to kind of figure out, right? Because he mixes up his combinations. He'll throw all different types of combinations from different angles. He uses the ring, moves around a lot. Like I said, he's lateral. He's in and out. He likes to come forward. He's quick, good speed, good combinations. He's a tough guy to deal with. He's got the experience. He's been in with all types of fighters. And to me, I guess that's what it's going to – because you're going to have a fight where he's moving around. And Cardoso is – in the in the pocket, still calm, high guard, firing straight shots, and Lopez is coming forward, moving him, trying to get him to chase after, making the timing him coming in. It's just a this is a really this is a really really good fight. This is so much better than the main event. Like this is a this is a home run fight. Like it's not the biggest names. Not guys with the best record. I, I, Lopez has got a bunch of losses. And I'm really having a tough time picking the winner here. But let's take a look at the odds. The odds aren't going to help as much. They're fairly close, as, as you would guess. I am literally changing my mind doing the video. I, I've gone back and forth. I, it's tough, man. <clears throat> Adam Lopez is at minus 150. I'm going to take him on a one times bet. It's going to make you about 67 bucks. It's not a ton. <clears throat> this is hard, man. I'm going to take Lopez. I think Lopez, the experience, the volume, gets him a decision. I think he can last to the end. I, like I said, Cardoso. 15 knockouts in 16 fights, but his one time he's gone the distance was with Jose Ariano, undefeated prospect. Again, not setting the world on fire, but an undefeated prospect. Then he, he stopped another undefeated prospect in his last fight, Oscar Alvarez Guerrero. Uh, Ariano has gone on to lose again to Jacob Gomez, again on Pro Box. <coughs> uh, the Puerto Rican prospect. <clears throat> it's a really tough fight. It's this is a really tough fight. I'm gonna lean towards Lopez just by the slightest. Like it, to me, this can't get more 50-50. Both guys could win. I'm gonna take Lopez on points. There's two choices here. Lopez on points, Cardoso stops him. I'm gonna go Lopez on points. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the box and book in all forms of social media. Guys, remember, join the Patreon link is in the description. It's also in that banner below. Five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. This is not the lock of the week. My advice to you is enjoy this fight. Take this one off. Honestly, if you got, you know, I always say it's a bull market. You you want to make money on this card? Take Duke and buy up to win. He's minus 1,600. He's going to be Ivan. So they have – there's no props on it. Take – you can make money on that. This fight's tough, man. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is May 22nd, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.